eventually. Film it over here. Quiet on the set! All right, so last week on Built, we put some really wide wheels on our Mercedes and an exhaust. This week, we're going to make it all work with an E46 wide body kit. So this is a BMW kit on our Mercedes because no one makes a kit like this for this car. We're going to adapt it and make it work so that it all flows and makes sense and everything. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it with the help of some friends that you guys will meet throughout the video. Let's get to work. <laughs> How many? I say one, three. the Mercedes. I'm body working it actually. It's in primer. We're going to paint it today. For you guys that are concerned with the speed of this build, it is moving very quickly and we are going to finish it. That's the whole goal. That's the whole point. But aside from that, we have this. This is the built glitch hoodie I made a year ago. I only sell these hoodies once a year and it's right now. And we extended the sale because we needed to sell a few more. So if you want one of these, they're on the website right now. You can still use the code Black Friday to get a discount on them and free shipping. It should be free in the US. I'm not sure about internationally, but if you get some crazy shipping rate for your international shipping, email me, Caleb at Built Official. I know a couple of you guys went to order one and the shipping was insane. We'll get that sorted and we'll get you your hoodie. Also, I think that I'm probably going to end merch after this sale. I'm, I got other things I want to sell that are more exciting to me. So if you want built merch, now's the time to do it because after this sale, I'm going to take it all down off the store and we're going to kind of rework what we sell and what we do on build. All right, that's all the promo for this video. Let's get back to it. This thing is gonna look sick. My name is Dan Santana, DangerDan04 on Instagram. I'm an artist, illustrator, graphic designer. I mess with cars when I'm not supposed to because I'm horrible with them, but I like to modify them and Caleb inspired me to modify some cars, so I'm here to help do that. Uh, I've done a lot of the artwork that you guys have seen on Bill, uh, a lot of the stickers, the shirt designs that you guys have seen, uh, the majority of the car illustrations and stuff like that, uh, and the future illustrations for Bill that you guys will probably get to see. So I offer design services, logo services, illustration services. Uh, my Instagram, you can reach out to me for any graphic design or illustration stuff. I sell stickers, Southern Import Collective if you want stickers. Uh, some of you guys might recognize me from uh, the Audi A4 Avant build with Eurospec Bodega, so I'm part of them as well. But yeah, I like to draw and work on cars, essentially. And I drove two hours to get here because Caleb said, come wide body your car. Alright, so when you mount these, it's really important they go at the right spot. Too high and you'll have trouble getting your car low enough to look right. Too low and your car will never look right no matter how high or low it is. So it's really important that you get them to, to kind of center where the wheel well is supposed to be. On this car, uh, we're basically just leveling this off with the inner wheel well, the fender well, and then mounting it there. That's how we got our front position and our back position. That, may, that's, that way, when we start lowering it, raising it, whatever, it's going to look right with the rest of the car. And it's just the easiest way to do it. So I just line it up with the wheel well and, uh, and then use that to kind of decide where it needs to go. Now, we have cut this one already but I have some different markers that I use uh, to make sure they both look the same. For this car, I want the line right here to carry from the bottom of the door handle to the top of the tail light. So we're just gonna line that up as best as we can with tape and we'll mount it. So I use tape to check all my lines. So I'm gonna line this up on this kind of fender line we have now. And we're gonna run it to the top of the tail light just to make sure that this carries smooth into there. You won't see it up close when you're standing back on the car. You'll be able to tell that it all kind of lines up and works together. Just hold it right there on the handle. We'll tighten up our tape mounts. And that's more or less going to be where our fender goes. And you'll see it wants to pull away. You can use more tape, but I have friends here. So I'm going to have somebody hold it in place. We'll run some screws in it just to keep it there. Uh, you can use Clico pins or whatever if you want. A lot of people tell me that all the time. I know, but sheet metal screws are here. So that's what we're going to use. How did you? spotted you. You're not fast enough. What? Yeah, I got to put that piece on. What do you think about it? 
Thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, My name's James. Um, I am the owner of Carnivore's YouTube channel and Facebook group community and I host Car Meets. Uh, do a little bit of everything. Uh, but that's what Carnivore's is. It's a brand of people who are hungry for cars. So yeah, me and my brother started Carnivore's uh, a couple years ago. It was inspired by you, Caleb. The MR2 showed up when you were putting the uh, Ferrari diffuser on it. And that was the video. That's, this is just the earliest video I can remember. Um, and ever since then, sub, watched every single video since then. So that's how long I've been a fan. But the reason why you inspired us is because you showed us that you don't really have to know what you're doing. You just got to do it. And once you start documenting it, you'll learn and you'll get better. And that's exactly what we did. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm happy to be here. I drove eight and a half hours. Caleb put out the PSA, said, hey, yo, somebody want to come wide body a car? Come down. And I was here in a second. So I wasn't missing this opportunity. Dan's gonna be over here working on a template. So we have some gaps where we cut out body lines for this fender. So we're just gonna lay out some blue tape, trace it out, cut it out, and then we'll transfer that over to this flat piece of fiberglass. So we cut out some more uh, little template pieces from our sheet, and uh, they'll just go in right here. Glue these in place for now. I'm gonna use some fiberglass filler to do that. All right, man. Shout out to Caleb for having a good eye. This is a S13 spoiler for the, the coupe. And look how close this lines up, or how good it lines up. Look at that. That's on there. You can't, you can't do any better than that. So we're gonna mount this, and uh, it looks phenomenal. My name's Justin Beek. I'm from Pearson, Indiana, little town north side of Indiana. Um, Drove a little over ten and a half hours to get here. Mercedes, the favorite favorite thing about it, it's not the car itself. It's what it brought us all here to do. This brought me out of my comfort zone. It uh, brought us all together as a group to do something for the good. All right, so we are going to build out a front piece to make this work. You can see the BMW headlight would have started right here, and we want it to go all the way to the new Mercedes headlight. And the way we're going to do that is with packing tape. So we'll just lay the packing tape over, and we're going to keep layering this stuff up until it makes the shape we want, and then we can lay fiberglass directly over that, and we'll have a part. All right, so we've got our basic shape made. You can see now it looks like the fender comes all the way to the headlight, even though it actually stops about right here. And we're going to make a fiberglass part. Now it's gonna be a rough part, and that's really all we need. We can smooth it out later. So I'm gonna get two layers of fiberglass so it's not too thick. I've got a mixing cup here. We're gonna use resin to make really just basic fiberglass. We'll push all the air out with this little chip brush. You can get these for like 79 cents at Walmart, and uh, we'll let that cure. Once it cures, we can pop it off and bond it to our fender, and we'll have a complete part. If that didn't make any sense, it will when you see it happen. Let's do it. Let's see. So it's about 10 drops per ounce. We'll do about 70 drops because we have somewhere around uh, seven ounces. So we're gonna start with just like a primer coat and uh, this is just resin. You could protect your paint right here but we're gonna be painting the bumper anyway so I'm not super worried about that. But this is gonna make sure that the fiberglass cloth actually sticks when we put that first layer on. It'll soak this up and stick to the, to the surface. Then we just press this on. It's a lot like vinyl in that it's going to want to bunch up and stuff, but this mat over the um, over the cloth, like woven cloth you can get, is good because there's a binder in here that breaks up with resin. So as you put resin on it, it's going to break up and conform a lot better. This is a piece, we'll break it off of there. It does not stick to the plastic, which is awesome. Uh, we did push it up inside to get that rolled edge, which is cool. We can pull all this off and you'll see that like, the fiberglass, which is not great on paint, didn't do anything to our paint. It's all, well, I got some right there. We'll have to sand that off. But it's all real clean and awesome and good. So what we'll do next is we'll trim this up, get all the loose glass off, and then we will stick it on right there and we will have an extended fender.
There we go. So we'll just glass from the back right here where all these pieces are glued in and they will be permanent and then we will have a part. How cool is that? How neat is that? today. I wasn't planning on lowering the car, but we did, and it looks awesome. It is super slammed on the back, and we're going to try to leave it this way, but we've got to make more room for the wheel because it just it needs more room to go up. But I think this thing came out great. We ditched our BMW lines, at least on the front. We still got to do some work here, but this is going to take a little more fabrication, and I just we're going to do it in the next one, I think. But so far, I think this thing has come out really great. It's looking like the rendering. The rear spoiler fits insanely well, and the width from the back of the car is just wild. I cannot wait to see this thing driving down the street. It's going to be insane. Huge thank you to James from Carnivores for coming out all the way from Raleigh. Huge shout out to Dan for coming out again for the second time to help us with a build. And huge shout out to Justin for coming 10 and a half hours to work on this wide body. We would never have gotten this much done without those guys and it has been awesome. I'm going to leave a link to all of their sites, everything that you need to know about those guys in the description below. It's also in the video somewhere. If you have any sort of like sticker needs or design needs, go check Dan out. He does great work. I went to school for graphic design and I still call Dan to make my stuff because it's just that good. And if you're in the Raleigh area, South Carolina area, and you're looking for shows, you're looking for a car scene that's healthy and just a good place to be, a good place to kind of grow up and, and be a part of the car community, Carnivores is where it's at. So go check those guys out. You're going to see them popping up all over the place. We may even host a Carnivores meet here in Gadsden. I think that would be really, really awesome. Check out their Facebook group too. I hear it's just really sick and I'm going to be, I'm going to add myself even though I don't use Facebook very much and uh, James got on to me for that. I think that's going to be it for today's video. We will smooth this stuff out in the next video, kind of get our body working phase done and uh, I mean we're moving right along. This thing is going to be really, really awesome. I think we'll dial in the suspension in the next one and then I guess take it for a drive. I hope you guys are enjoying this build. We're going to see you in the next one. Quite uh, a set! Jeez!